This will help with crowd control once again. <laughs> Very much help with crowd control. Maybe I underestimated how much it would help for a 10 minute run. I guess it would have been too much if we also got bullet flower. Oh game, why must you deny me? Oh! 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 Alright, welcome everyone, and we're back with more disfigure. The uh the shotgun is up, and let's make a projectile madman here. A one-man crowd controlling machine. I actually already did this run, recorded a run for this build, but it wasn't until Ooh, I like the initial quantity of enemies we're getting here. It wasn't until Okay, let me focus for a while here. Quick draw. Fire rate is going to be the main thing for this build. Maybe I'll pick up something for movement sp speed and pick up range early so that we can level up faster. But right away, quick draw. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, my previous run, I wasn't satisfied. I um, didn't get the build that I wanted. The complete build until like the 8 minute or even the 9 minute mark. And we have to beat that time this time. <laughs> um, pressure is on. Okay, bulk rounds is also going to be a path for us. So we're going to get both bullets. Uh, what do you call this? B number of projectiles, fire rate, and damage. We're going to get this upgrade path. And hopefully time allows. We're also going to get some piercing going here. So... Let's get bulk, bulk round started here. We got 20% damage. Ooh, that is some good damage. A fast firing shotgun. Who wouldn't want that, right? Regardless of what you're going for, who wouldn't want a fast firing, like an automatic shotgun? You gotta be careful here. I, I really, I, I really like the early swarm of enemies here. Burn, bleed. Yes, bleed is another path we're gonna take. Mm, we want all this. We want bullet speed and fire rate. We want bullet size and speed, but let's get bleed started. We're not going to go for this path, though. Although this is going to be nice for damage, we're going to go for the outflow path here for some good crowd control outflow. I don't know what you guys think about it, but I'm going to say it's underrated by myself before. And it's actually one of the best crowd control um mechanics so to speak uh multi-shot later on of course this is our madman right here that's his picture wait a second there's a man here does that mean we're human <laughs> anyway oh here comes outflow right away oh oh ooh. now with regards to um circle vision size i am gonna put that on a later priority just because we are also gonna get shield barrier and we're gonna depend on the shield for um for circle size hollow point mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay let's get hollow point let's go we are a bit um fortunate here with the uh the early choices of upgrades i hope i don't jinx this run i probably will i always do but i am liking our start here. I like the, uh, the upgrades we're getting is what I'm trying to say. Ballistic tip. Yaha, yaha, yaha. Okay. Well, it's like we're going one at a time, right? One for this and then one for this one now. Balance it out. This will make things a lot more manageable here in the start. Instead of just getting a, um, a pew pew weapon with that we're firing a lot, but it isn't doing a lot of damage, right? Plus, we have some outflow going already, although... Outflow is good, though, you know, for the uh, the shotgun. Because if you don't hit an enemy with all the four projectiles off the shotgun, it's going to be pretty weak damage. And if you end up hitting him, what is it, like three times for outflow to happen? And it gets pretty good. Kill spree is here. Okay, yes, we want that. Kill spree, the last one for this is spray and pray. Or... Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm tempted to get even just one gleam here. I'm gonna get multi-shot now, just to get this upgrade path going. Oh no! Am I getting myself in trouble here? B 
being greedy with my upgrade paths. I don't think so. I think we'll be fine. We have some decent damage for um, being two minutes in the game right now. And we have outflow going already this early. So that should carry us for a while. There we go. Shield barrier. Yes. Ooh, swiftness. Hmm. So I was saying a while ago, that I want shield barrier because I want this upgrade path here. The shield boost, obviously, and then the shield flare for division size and then akimbo for even more projectiles. Okay. Okay. I answered my question. Let's get shield barrier. Keep swarming here. This is very tight, though. <laughs> this, um... Having no upgrade right now for the circle of vision size. This is very tight. A bit nerve-wracking. More pressure on ourselves for the sake of upgrades. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a big horde here, it looks like. Oh, we shall prevail. We shall survive. Good. Shield boost, mm -hmm. burn, radiation, bullet cyclone, uh, maximum caliber, wait a second, this is piercing, right? Piercing will come much later on, that will be the, like the, uh, the cherry on top, the finishing touch, not really the cherry on top, but more like the, um, the finishing touch to, um, the build is the piercing. Ooh, ooh centipede tie, let's see how we do. Uh, pretty slow, pretty slow. To my liking. <laughs> Again, that's how I measure how our build is doing. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, did we get hit? Um, I think we need kill spree now. We need we need kill spree. Oh, yeah. And it's all, our only choice anyway. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, we needed to kill spree badly there. We luckily did not get hit. And we need to pick up some stuff here. Where is outflow? I need my outflow. For some um, crowd control here. I said we want a crowd control madman. Here we go. Outflow. Oh, gleam. Ah, here comes a uh, shield flare, but outflow first. We need the um, the splatter effect of outflow ASAP. Lest we want to get swarmed here. Piercing round, spray and pray. Swiftness. Okay, shield flare for some vision now. There you go. We needed that. We needed that. Come on, outflow. Okay. Okay. That was like maybe probably gonna be the tightest spot we put ourselves in for the duration of this run. Akimbo is already here. Ooh, guys, you gotta watch out now. Oh, the madman is mad. <laughs> if you guys put me in a tight spot. Too, too much of a tight spot. Oh, I shouldn't have done that to this guy. He be going crazy. Spotlight, triple shot, not yet, not yet. Piercing rounds, not yet either. Or do I get piercing rounds this early? What are we, what are we missing though? The outflow, right? Less fire rate, we're fine. We have a Kim, not a Kimbo. No, a Kimbo, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a Kimbo. Okay, okay. This will help with crowd control once again. <laughs> Very much help with crowd control. <laughs> Maybe I underestimated how much it would help with crowd control. Can't believe I hesitated with um, picking this one up. Yeah, I'm just so used to my ways. Like, I was thinking I would want the outflow, the bloodlust first before anything. Okay. Now we have the good damage. After this, we can pretty much... Get spray and pray, get all the multi -project projectile stuff we want. This um this upgrade path here, which reduces our damage further. Pretty much bloodlust will take care of our damage for us. And I was me I mentioned before how I went I, I went for this build already. I recorded a run for this already, and I just didn't push through because I wanted to do a better one. And in that run, I learned a lot of things. One of which was. <laughs> And I can't believe I'm just learning this now. The final boss... And correct me if I'm wrong, but you have to be hitting his legs in order to damage him, apparently. I mean, I reached, I think, the 15-minute mark of that run before I finally took him down. And, um, triple shot. 
Mm, triple shot. <laughs> uh, um, I mean, you want the, the projectile madman going as early as possible, right? Five minute mark. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Um, yeah, I reached the 15 minute mark of that run before I finally took him down. And around the 14 minute mark, man, these um creatures, these spiders, these bacteria, whatever, whatever you call them. Um, these centipedes, they charge at you so fast. Like, their movement speed, I don't think it's just doubled. It's like tripled or something once you reach like that 14 minute mark or something. Spray and pray will give us less damage, but that would mean more projectiles and more chance at bleed and outflow. Yeah, so... The goal for this run is to create a build that I would say is pretty chill, wherein you can just stand in the middle here and you're not gonna see a lot of um, anyone coming at you because you're just spraying and praying and pretty much hitting everyone and you're gonna end up with all these pickups that you have to run to though. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm glad we, we um, we're not done though. We're not done with this build though. I'm just I'm um, kind of like feeling trying to appreciate here at the start that we got this um going very early. Okay, gleam. I want some gleam to be honest. I want some swiftness to be honest. I'm going to get some swiftness here. Maybe not gleam. Maybe we're fine with this. See? No one is coming into our tiny vision. Not it's not really tiny. No one is really coming into our um circle of vision here. And that's a good sign. No running around. Let them try to come to us. Try being Ooh, there's one scorpion there. Being the keyword there. Ooh, okay. And outflow is so good. And it's so good with crowd control. We need more piercing. Oh, they heard me. Bullet size, bullet speed, pierced through three enemies, doing 50% more damage for each enemy pierced. Ah, I think I'm even going to take that over maximum caliber. Let's try it. I've never prioritized puncture rounds before, but I mean, we want the huge projectiles, right? We want the huge projectiles. Man, we still want bullet flower though. Okay, we want bullet flower and we want more damage to make up for the uh, the less damage. But look at this. No care. This is this is my, this is the definition for me of spray and pray. Pretty much, where and you're not minding enemies and you're just like focusing on picking up these um experience points. Right, right, right. Ooh, they're stepping it up though. Oh gosh, we're so slow with leveling up though. We are at level 20. Centipedes will definitely help. Thank you. Um, serration, radiation. Ooh, I'm gonna reroll this. Maximum caliber, yep. Mm. Infinite enemies dealing 100% more damage for each enemy pierced. Mm. This is good for now. But once the uh, the boss gets here, right? Ah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's go all full piercing mode here. All crowd control mode here. But we have to keep running though. Running, not uh, not running away from enemies, but running to pick up stuff. Right? We have uh, less than under two minutes to go before the boss gets here. And I would very much want to have at the very least, one more opportunity to upgrade here. Oh, this is fun though. Big chunky projectiles again. We still need to get bullet flower. Okay, maybe it's not so much the uh, projectile madman anymore. But it's more like the, uh, the one man crowd control machine we got going now. Yes, more centipedes, please. Are they even centipedes? I keep calling them centipedes. I'm not even sure if they are centipedes. <laughs> Maybe, um, grasshoppers? Nah, not really. I think 
it's a centipede, right? The one with the segmented body. Well, it's cyclone, maximum caliber. Oh, wait, why are they not giving us? I'm gonna get maximum caliber. Why are they not giving us the um the mil type the more projectiles? I feel like when we chose the um the piercing route, they took out the um they took out the uh what do you call this? The multi-projectile upgrade path because it might have been it might make us too strong and also because we have a Kimbo. Come on, come on, 30 seconds. Let's get triple shot here. I wanna get triple shot and um bullet flower. Don't deny me the pleasure. <laughs> come on, game. Come on, game. Okay. Stopping power, serration. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Radiation. Oh, they're not gonna give it to us. They are not gonna give it to us. And I let go of stopping power as well. Uh bleed, maybe. I'm gonna get uh magnetism here in the hopes of um <laughs> I probably should have gotten the bleed there and would have made more sense, right? Uh, but I want my projectiles. Okay, we'll do projectile madman next time. This will be, um, what is it? This will be instead, um, crowd control machine. Is what I'm gonna call him. You know, a good addition to this game would be, you see how we have the outflow ability, right? I'm thinking of like difficulty stuff here for the game. And I'm thinking a good one would be to um, also have the enemies have their own ability of like leaving poisonous pools of sorts, you know, that we shouldn't that we shouldn't step on. Well, that was some good crowd control though. Pretty chill run, not having to worry about anyone attacking us. Pretty much, I see. Like, I mean, if the if the runs were longer. They might let us get, um, bullet flower and all that good stuff. But for a 10 minute run, I guess it would have been too much if we also got bullet flower. Oh, game. Why must you deny me? Oh! 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 <laughs> Don't die yet, boss. Oh! Oh my gosh, you guys are in trouble. Oh, we want more circle size so we can witness this goodness, this awesomeness that is happening. So yeah, no wonder the boss tries to rotate himself so much. Okay, is apparently you have to hit his legs. So it is his form of defense to keep rotating like that. Because if you can't just go hitting his body and expect him to like, you know, get annihilated. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video on our um one man crowd controlling machine with a hint of last minute projectile madman <laughs> leave a comment down below it would be fun to exchange ideas on builds for the game for this figure but stay tuned for more and please to consider subscribing to the channel i will see you guys in the next one